Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you the tower glitch where you can skip from floor 4 all the way to the end and claim the highest gilded goodies. Um, whatever difficulty you are able to do it on, if you're on Apocalypse, then even better. Uh, just another tip as well, something that I didn't realize. Um, as you can see in the top right corner, I have zero attempts left, but I didn't know this. So when you do the glitch and you get to the 30th floor, you need to leave the tower and then re-enter to trigger the boss. Now, if you do that with zero attempts left, you will fail the run and lose all progress and have to start again. I didn't know this. So I'm just running through the tower now thinking la di da di da. I'm going to do this glitch and I'm going to get good. <laughs> I'm about to be proved wrong. <clears throat> so we are just ready to go to floor four. And this is what you need to do. You need to stand on this block here. It might take a few attempts. As you can see, I struggled a little bit. But just be patient. It will work. And there you go. This glitch currently works as of today, the 5th of May, recording this video. So once you've done the glitch, the floor will not spawn any enemies for the entire duration of the tower run no matter what floor as you can see i'm going through the next floor no enemies are spawning and another tip is don't bother getting new items oh i think this is where i realize i messed up <laughs> yeah so left the tower Realizing that I now have to redo it again from the beginning. My struggle is though, this floor, floor 2, it can be quite difficult and it's annoying getting pushed back by the, the guards that just keep pushing you back and it's so annoying. It, this was, it actually took me about three attempts to finally get a successful first glitched tower run all right we're going to skip ahead to the floor four again and here we are don't worry it does work it just can be a little frustrating get on that block and there you have it easy okay so just going to talk a few things to help you out so each floor like i said previously don't bother getting any new weapons or armor for the first sort of 20 floors and um, get a lot of the enchantment points maybe get the boots of swiftness also go for the gong of weakness though you want to make sure you get that just for the end boss And then later on, as you start to upgrade your weapons, you want to, like, maximize the enchantments on them. You can use the same loader as me. As you get towards the end, it works. And it basically, you just repeat this process. You can use the same build over and over again. The tower resets in five days, so I'm assuming that's when it gets patched. And then there'll just be a new glitch that someone finds. So, here I actually wanted to try something new with the saw blade. So I gilded that, and then I think I ended up swapping it. So it was kind of a waste. But it's up to you. Personal preference, really, what you want. You just want to make sure by the time you get to the last floor, you want good armor, a good weapon, and good enchantments. 
All right, so coming up to the last floor. This is my current loadout. This is what I'll be fighting the boss with. Yeah, I think I just bought a new bow. You don't have to buy the bow. Right, so gonna leave the tower. But you're okay. You will lose an attempt. So it's all good. Make sure you've got some attempts left. Preferably two. Leave the tower and then return back to the tower. Current floor at 30. So don't worry, you won't lose your progress. And now the boss will respawn. So now, as you can see, I've got one attempt left. But you shouldn't have any problems now. And don't forget your weekly challenge as well. Use potions, so keep an eye on that. Got to use it a hundred times if you haven't done that already. And there you go. The tower run glitched. Easy done. Let's see what we go and get at the end. If you, if you really want to grind this out for the next five days, you can get some awesome stuff. So here I just go for the diamond sword. It looks the nicest. I always go for the nicest looking things. But pretty sweet, sweet, right? So there you have it. I hope you found this video useful. If you didn't know about this tower glitch, go and knock yourselves out. Have some fun. Try and get the best loot possible. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Now I'm going to go and do as much of these runs as possible. If you did, drop a thumbs up on the video. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and want to see more Minecraft Dungeon videos. Check out the description. I'll also be live on Twitch playing some more Minecraft Dungeons if you guys want to join me anytime then you are more than welcome to and uh, with all that being said i'm gonna go thanks again and see you all in the next one